Hi everyone and welcome. This is the pre-video for Chocolate Fever. I'll tell you about the characters and the vocabulary. I want to make reading this book easy for you. There is a link in the description if you want to buy it. Let's talk about the main character. This is Henry. He's a young boy who eats a lot of chocolate. He pours chocolate syrup on his chocolate ice cream. He eats chocolate sandwiches for lunch and chocolate for a snack. And he doesn't get fat or get any cavities. Nothing bad has happened to him, at least not yet. This is Mac. You'll meet him in chapter eight. So more than halfway through the story. He's a truck driver, he's wise, and he's kind. And he's a black person living in an area of mostly white people. He gives advice to Henry and protects him from carjackers. There are some other characters in the book, people like Dr. Fargo, who wants to learn more about chocolate fever from Henry. Big Boy is a school bully. Enid and Mark are Henry's brother and sister. Louie and Lefty are carjackers that you'll meet in chapter 9. And Mrs. Kimmelfarber and Mr. Pangalos are teachers at Henry's school. They're important characters in the book, but they're not as important as Henry and Mac. Here are the vocabulary words that I picked. I picked all of these from the first four chapters. So knowing these words will help you get started in the book. Henry goes to the doctor in chapter four. So there are a lot of medical words like rash and measles. Let's go through the vocabulary together. On the verge of. On the verge of means you almost do something. The woman in the picture, she is on the verge of sneezing. She hasn't sneezed yet, but she's on the verge of it. The man is on the verge of a cliff. He's not over the cliff. Then he'd fall. He's on the verge of the cliff. The teacher is looking directly at the girl. And the teacher looks angry. I wonder why the teacher is looking directly at the student. Unidentified means that you don't know something. Who is that person? I don't know. He's unidentified. In the second picture, is it a balloon? A spaceship? I don't know. It's unidentified. Freckles. Freckles are cute little dots on skin. Well, they're cute when they're natural. Dizzy. If you spin really fast, you become dizzy. A riot is when everything is out of control. Look at these students. They are throwing paper at each other. Is this a regular class? No, it's a riot. There are no rules. Observe this phenomenon. A phenomenon is a strange thing that we don't know much about. Henry's chocolate fever is strange, so the doctor wants to observe him and learn more. What is this chocolate fever phenomenon? A new thing that we don't know about. Bite my head off. When a teacher or parent yells, they don't actually bite your head off. It's just yelling, but it still feels bad. Measles and chicken pox. They are diseases. They put spots on your skin. They aren't cute like freckles. Everyone gets these diseases. They hurt, but you just have to rest for about a week and you'll be okay. Measles and chickenpox. Two diseases. I've had both. They're not fun. Poked and prodded. The doctor that Henry talks to doesn't know about chocolate fever, and he wants to learn more, so he has to poke and prod Henry to learn more about it. A rash. A rash is a symptom. It's usually red marks on your skin. It can be caused by many things, like allergies, or chicken pox, or poison ivy. Sometimes they are itchy. Lumps. A lump is a bump. 
Henry's chocolate fever leaves lumps all over his skin. That's why he has to go to the doctor. Okay, so now I think you're ready to read Chocolate Fever. You can read along with me on my YouTube channel. And after, you can watch the post-discussion video with me. I think you're ready. <laughs> As you're reading the story, I want you to think about these questions. What do the characters want? And who changes in the story? There may be more than one change that happens in the story. So think hard. And that's it. Let's get reading. I'll link some worksheets in the description. They can help you write and remember the story.